Okay, so what I'm gonna use is this pry tool and go on in here, lift up this cover for the speaker, move it out the way. All right, so we take this eight millimeter and I'm gonna go ahead and take off those three bolts to remove the speaker. So with the speaker out the way, I went ahead and used the driver and put it underneath this cable. So you're gonna find the cable underneath the foam on in there. So I kind of ripped off mines, but you don't have to. There's a, only this much of it ripped off, but it should be a slit where you could go ahead and find it. But if anything, just move this out the way, like tear a piece off and go ahead and slip the driver underneath the cable. And that cable is the release for the passenger side seat. So all you gotta do is pull it on in here and then pull towards the front of the car and pull hard and it will snap right loose. So I went ahead and pulled already and let's see it came right loose so this is what it's going to go ahead and release this piece right here so this is the battery tray right here that's still up um what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just knock that bed down and there we go i uh, have the trunk release right here in the back so i'm just gonna go crawl back here and pull it out and just like that the trunk is now open so now i could get back to the battery so as you can see, all of this was disconnected. So with all this disconnected, you can't go ahead and use the jump turn rules in the front and try to jump it to turn it on. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and release the driver's side seat so that I could go ahead and drop it down until I'm ready to replace the battery. So now I can safely close the trunk. Now that everything's sorted, I'm gonna go ahead and piece this back in to the spot where I took it from and put everything back together. So thanks for watching the video and hope it helps and see y'all next one.